Hi guys! Good afternoon! Hello. Good afternoon! Welcome to the fourth episode of M&M's Wisdom in the Car. Yeah. Yeah, so, kami po ay galing kami sa Lipa. So, nakipag-meet kami sa mga friends namin after namin mag-grocery. Anyways, this afternoon, we will be sharing about how to surrender to God's love. So, ito, ito ay napakinggan namin kahapon sa feast and we want to share it with you as part of our declaration slash proclamation of God's goodness. Okay. So, mahal, can you start? What do you want to share? So, surrender to His love. Uh, ako na nga. So, kasi, uh, di ba, minsan, natatanong natin, ano ba ang tamang formula para pakinggan ni Lord ang ating mga dasal. Kasi diba minsan dasal tayo na dasal, pero bakit parang hindi maririnig ni Lord? Oo. Maybe the question is, is there a right formula? Yeah, is there a right formula in praying? So, at the end of this, ano, at the end of this sharing, sasagutin namin if there is really the right formula in praying. So, yung Uh, Bible verse na galing natin is from Lucas chapter 22 verse 42 Yet I want your will to be done, not mine Nung naaanala ko last year June 28, 2019 So ito, ano siya ni Mark eh Sinabi na to ni Mark na napagod na kasi siya kasi we've been praying praying for something na gusto naming matupad. Pero, Lord, bakit parang hindi ko binibigay? So, ano sinabi mo nun? Sabi ko, Lord, I surrender it to you. Kasi, parang, hindi, pagod na ako, ganyan. So, kayo na po bahala. Uh, your, your will be done, uh, not mine. So, this is connected to the episode, yung episode 3 na resting in God's promise. Di ba parang, pag tayo napapagod, we should rest na lang kay God. He will give us rest. And, dahil si Mark ay napagod na sa, sa kapaplano, kahihiling, parang Lord, ikaw na ang bahala, let your will be done. And, it was given to us. Yung pinagdadasal namin, may maganda pala, may mas magandang plano pala si God. So, binigay niya yun sa atin. So, every time daw na tinatanong natin si Lord, bakit ba hindi niya binibigay ang ating mga dasal? We are undergoing a faith crisis. Even now, di ba? We are actually, most of us are asking, Lord, bakit ba? Tinasnap of your finger, pwede mo namang tanggalin na tong COVID-19 na to. Pero bakit hindi mo ginagawa? So, we are undergoing a faith crisis. And that is a good sign kasi ibig sabihin nagmamature tayo. Sabi natin tanong sa buhay if we're encountering faith crisis and like, bakit? Mabuti naman akong tao. Uh, yung kapitbahay ko nag-iinom. Hindi naman siya nag-iisimba pero ang ganda ng bahay niya, ang ganda ng kotse niya. Diba yung mga tanong natin? Oo, pero kami yung nagsiserve naman kami sa kay God. Dati nga, sobrang active kami sa community pero bakit bakit mas okay yung buhay nila so that is what we call faith crisis so sabi dito sa notes ko we uh, every faith crisis is God's invitation to us to transition from simplistic faith to simple faith kaya it is a good sign pag nagkakaroon tayo ng faith crisis that would be an opportunity for us na mas ma- na mapalapit sa kanya. Mm-hmm. So, ano bang pagkakaiba ng simplistic faith versus simple faith? Pareho lang naman sa lang simple. So, ang simplistic faith daw ay we are asking for a magic. Di ba? Yung katal ni Mark, yung sabi ni Mark na, bakit ito, mas mabait naman ako, bakit mas binibless sila? So, yun yung iniisip natin, there's always a magic. Parang, Uh, Santa Claus nag, nag, nag uh, wish ka dahil uh, you're a good guy so para mag- 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 wish mo yeah. or yung genie in a battle <coughs> diba? 
So yun simple faith naman ay tatlong S daw yun. Seek God and not His gifts. Serve and surrender. So, ang simplistic faith daw is we are seeking what God provides. While the simple faith is we are seeking God. So ito ang ganda-ganda na sinabi dito eh. Simple faith is not getting what you want but getting a heart that wants what God wants. Ang ganda no, and, uh, uh, it's not what we always want. It is not our plan. But it is God's plan na, na ating sinisik. Yep. Every time kasi nga na hindi nagagrant sa atin, sabihin, uh, ready niya tayo dun sa mas maganda. Uh -huh. Ay, uh, there's always the right timing na kapag naibigay sa atin yun, mas magiging valuable, mas magiging, mas ma-appreciate natin. Kasi prepared na tayo. So in a crisis, what is shaken is the simplistic faith. And what will remain should be a simple faith. Sabi nga, the worst thing that can happen to your life is that everything goes your way. So, pag daw yung lahat ng plano natin ay natutupad, nangyayari, yun daw yung parang mas matakot tayo kasi it is not, it, it is not only God's plan, pero plano natin yun. And, bakit nga, bakit nga siya worst? Worst kasi parang the, the moment na nagkaroon ka ng malaking problema, hindi ka kasi, hindi ka sanay sa mga ganong sitwasyon. Kaya, posibleng sumuko ka kagad or bumigay yung faith mo o wala yun nga diba worst case nagiging uh, nawawala no, kung ano ba ang tawag dun sa wala, wala, wala ang faith na kasi lahat naman natutupad eh diba oh. pero yung ikinuwento dun sa si brother mo about a mother and a child na sabi daw nung anak parang yun nga parang bakit daw, hindi pa tang tanggalin ni Lord yung yung COVID-19 in, in a snap of his finger naman, kayang-kaya niya. Ang ganda ng isinagot ng nanay, sabi uh, niya Oh yeah, oh. Ang sabi ng nanay ay, anak, di ba pag brown out, pag manilim uh, natatakot ka, tapos niyayakap kita, at nawawala yung takot mo pero madilim pa rin naman. So parang ganun din yung nangyayari sa atin. God is calling us to trust that even if we don't see Him, He's hugging us in the darkness. Na hindi niya ibinibigay yung hinihiling natin para maramdaman natin na nandyan siya, na ini-embrace niya tayo. This is His moment for us to feel His embrace. So, paano nga ba dapat tayo magdadasal? Paano tayo mapakinggan ni Lord? So, first daw is pray frequently. frequently. Oo, so, hindi lang anytime na may kailangan tayo, doon tayo nagpa-pray. Minsan guilty ako sa eh, di ba? Parang magmasaya ako, natutulog na lang ako, hindi ko na naaalala si Lord. But then, we should always pray pray to Him every single day. And, Ang, ang advice ay we should find our own spot and visit it often at doon ka mag-pray. Kasi diba? even Jesus Christ ano, uh, nag-pray siya frequently. Diba na halos every time na sa Mount Olives, oh, every time na makikita siya ng mga apostles, we pray siya. And, uh, yun ang pinakamagandang example for us. So, we should find a spot in our house, maybe in, in, sa, sa, sa bedroom, sa rooftop, and then let's go there often, at doon tayo magkasal. Uh, at ano nga, is, where, where is your mouth? Of uh, olives. Of olives. So, the second one is pray for, for fervently. So, we should pray passionately. We should give, give our hearts sa pagdadasal na kumbaga it's like really talking to him na uh, we will tell everything lahat ng laman ng puso natin ng isip natin sabihin natin sa kanya yeah, uh, 
nabasa ko yung parang gandang definition ng prayer prayer is not just about uh, telling our our, our uh, wishes our needs but prayer is the uh, communication para makausap natin si God that, yeah. is, that is the time na, ma, na umaga that's our personal time para sa kanya actually dati nga ang tungkol sa amin dapat meron kang ano meron kang schedule talaga kay God like halimbawa every day of luck in the morning magdadasal ka kay God that is your appointment kay God let your crisis grow your faith and awaken your belief in God so kung dumadaan man tayo ngayon sa faith crisis hayaan natin siya na hayaan natin na dumaan tayo doon kasi it will fuel our faith kay God Diba, mahal? Yes. So, the secret, the secret of success is not your ability to maintain your love for Jesus, but it's your willingness to remain in His love for you. Yeah, because yun yung naalala ko dun sa talk eh, na the, the, the only constant doon is yung love ni Jesus Christ sa atin. Mm-hmm. Because yung love natin sa Kanya, nagbabago eh, nag-iiba eh mm. depende sa kung ano oh. sitwasyon natin so, pero yung love niya sa atin that's the constant thing na even if makasalanan tayo oh. mahal pa rin tayo ni Lord okay. so, ano, so ano nga ba daddy ang secret to a successful prayer so, at ito matagal ko na rin itong tanong eh mm-hmm. at nung kahapon nasagot siya na the secret to a successful prayer is our obedience to what God is asking from us. Parang sumunod muna tayo. Oh. Diba? Kasi sometimes, uh, inihintayin muna natin na, na, na matupad yung dinadasal uh, natin. Like, Lord, pag po ibinigay niyo na sa akin, uh, kung pinigilin ko, magsaserve po ako sa inyo. Uh, may condition lang. Yeah. It should be the other way around, na magserve ka muna kay Lord. And then, ibibigay niya sa'yo kung ano yung plano niya para sa'yo. Yep. So, yun. Ano siya talaga sa akin? It's an eye-opener for me. Kasi parang feeling ko, matagal na talagang may calling sa akin. Pero, inisip ko, kasi iba yung plano ko eh. Umaga, dati, dati gusto ko talaga mag-full-time. Youth for Christ pa ako. Hanggang sa naging singles for Christ ako. Kaya lang, inisip ko, pag nag-full-time ako, Ano yung career ko? Ganon. So, God is, I, I know He is knocking in my in my heart, pero mas inuuna ko kung ano yung plan ko. Kaya ngayon, whatever it is na ina-assign sa atin, like, uh, di, ano tayo, ina-assign tayo sa Youth for Christ High School base, sige, tanggap lang ng tanggap, basta service kay God. Uh, ina-assign kami mag-host sa family quarantine, wala na excuses, tanggap lang ng tanggap okay. so God is waiting for us to do something for Him not always to do something for our dreams and even yung time kay God yung, kasi ano rin, kasama rin doon yung ating kapwa mm-hmm. uh, so like ginagawa na the, the, the moment na nakapunta tayo doon nakatulong tayo doon sa mga nangangailangan nakikita ko sa kanila si Jesus eh it's not always just praying, uh, diba? It's also being good to others. Kasi when we are serving other people, we are also serving God. God. So, when we become obedient to God, He knows we are ready for His miracle. Kasi sumusunod na tayo eh, marunong na tayong sumunod sa Kanya. So, ibig sabihin nun, it's about time na i-grant na niya yung mga hinihiling natin kasi we are ready so, yeah, that, that that is the secret. Obedient, obedience is the start of the blessing. Let's surrender our life to Him. So, ay, ang ganda-ganda nung sinasabi na, not my will, not my plans, not my schedules, yeah, not my dreams, but God's will be done. That's how you surrender yourself, your plans, your dreams to God. Actually, the, before the year ends, la, 
last year. Na ito na basa ko to kay ano yun, sa Instagram ni Jessica Garcia. Na di ba gumagawa tayo ng New Year's resolution? Tap, tapos ito ito yung nakalista ko ano yung mga gusto natin gawin, ito yung mga papagbuhi natin. But then after natin siyang ilista, ipagdasal din natin at sabihin natin na Lord These are my plans. These are my resolutions. But if it's not your plan, let your will be done. Diba? It's okay for us to dream. Hindi naman tayo bina, hindi naman tayo binibigil ang mangarap, magplano sa buhay natin. But let's surrender all our plans and dreams to God para siya na ang bahalang mag-grant kung para sa atin pa to. Kasi He knows so much better than us eh. So, that's it for today. We hope may natutunan po kayo. So, again, not our will, but it's God's will be done. Bye, everyone!